What is going on, everybody? Uh, we are here at 2022 NFL Draft Season. Um, Gashler's Draft Network is back, and we're back in business here. I'm going to be sh- starting a series of film sessions and whatnot as we get into this uh, draft class. Um, so this first one is going to be going over one of my favorite guys here, um, and that's Aiden Hutchinson. And Aiden Hutchinson, um, a lot, there's a lot of debate about who's edge one. Uh, it's Aiden Hutchinson, and that there's really no other... You're going to hear a lot of Kayvon Thibodeau, and I'm just going to tell you straight up, that's not right. Aiden Hutchinson is edge one, and if you disagree with that, um, then I don't know what to tell you. And I'm I'm here to try and attempt to tell you why Aiden Hutchinson is edge one here, and we'll get into it here. Um, But I like him a lot better than Kayvon Thibodeau. The first reason here is uh, his pass rushing, his pass rushing arsenal and ability um, is very good. And we were watching Michigan State here. Um, first off, I'd just like to t- take a uh, look at the preview of the get off. Right, um, the ball gets snapped. He's super twitchy and he comes up field really quick. Um, and when we first see him come up field here, we're going to see him rushing outside, which is going to draw into number 79, this left tackle outside. Um, the tackle is going to think, oh, he's trying to get to the quarterback this way. The awesome thing about what Hutchinson does here is he's going to shift inside and use his hands and bull to get inside um, and chase down that quarterback. What I also love about this is he sells upfield just enough to get the tackle so far upfield that when he attacks inside, he's getting the skinny side of the tackle attacking half the man um, to get inside and get free, right? If the tackle is square right here and he goes inside, he's just going to get stoned. Um, but Aiden Hutchinson is able to come inside. He, you saw how he put his hands right here on the front side of that nine um, on, on, the, on the front of this tackle's jersey and is able to get an open uh, lane right here through this B-gap to the quarterback. He doesn't end up sacking the quarterback, but what I love is the finish in the motor we see from it, right? Um, we're going to see him come here, and he's going to keep chasing. He may not have gotten there, but he's going to keep chasing and put and put the quarterback in a hurry, uh, put him in pressure. And this quarterback, number 10, ends up throwing an interception here because of the pressure that Aiden Hutchinson created. So you talk about a guy who can pass rush like that, um, create turnovers, create sacks. That's a guy you want on your team, and that's who Aiden Hutchinson is. Um, and that's just a great play that shows that. One thing that Aiden Hutchinson does really well is pass rushing. Another thing is run defense. Um, And we'll get into all of that as this film session progresses. But um, a thing that I'd like to highlight just to let you know, I'm not cherry picking plays. I'm finding plays that I feel like describe Aiden Hutchinson the best. And this is a play that I feel like he could get improvement off of. Um, He's a great pass rusher, but he really needs to do a better job of being able to turn the corner and disengage off blocks quicker. Otherwise, he's going to get driven upfield. This play is a good example of it. We're going to see Hutchinson here against this right tackle. He gets upfield really fast, extends with his arms, um, turns the corner, but ultimately turns the corner a little too late. Um, I'd like to see him turn the corner a little earlier, preferably like right here he starts turning. Instead, he's going to get to that 40-yard line and then start turning, which gets him too far upfield, um, which ultimately gives the quarterback time to step up in the pocket uh, as this number 76 is driving him upfield. So we see that here. He's getting his hands underneath. He had full extension. He's getting his hands underneath the uh, tackle, uh, underneath his arm to try and rip through. Um, it does. It goes pretty well. He's free, but he needs to do a better job of disengaging right here or turning the corner earlier before he gets driven upfield like that because that little push from that tackle right at the end there um, delays Hutchinson's ability to get to the quarterback there and make a play. Now we talked about a little bit about how Aiden Hutchinson plays as a pass rusher. This is a great example of him being great as a run defender. Uh, not because he gets the tackle here or anything, but he sets the edge very well here. Um, let's get into it. He's facing this wing uh, and then this tackle. The tackle's going to end up blocking him, I think. Um, but he comes out of his stance with that, that same burst and whatnot. Um... But the great thing is he keeps outside contained. He already attacks outside. Um, his hips are facing outside. Number nine, Kenneth Walker, um, is gonna tr- is looking to aim this way and maybe follow this this um, this H back, this tight end into this hole right here. But his probably second his his secondary lane is going to be outside. Aiden Hutchinson makes sure that doesn't happen as he gets upfield enough to be able to see where Kenneth Walker is going, and he forces him back inside like that. Um, the rest of the Michigan defense is very good at forcing him back outside or back further this way. Um, but the the great thing is from the get go is that Aiden Hutchinson is able to get there and uh, really do great work um, right here to be able to set this edge, force Kenneth Walker back inside, um, and then and then um, they're going to ultimately finish that play. But Aiden Hutchinson is integral in that part. 
um, because if he didn't set the edge, Kenneth Walker would easily just run this way, um, and it'd be a two-on-one battle at the safety right here. So here on this sack, Aiden Hutchinson uh, does a very good job of getting hands on, um, getting hands off, and bending around and finishing with the quarterback with good motor. Um, I really like this play. It ends up being a sack. It's a great play from Hutchinson. Uh, just showcases his high upside as a pass rusher. We're going to see how he, um, Aiden Hutchinson, uses nuance and technicality to beat this uh this left tackle here um so he starts off good twitch coming out you can see his back leg is kind of loaded ready to go right that's what you love to see um uh, because that's going to get him up the field faster that's going to what's going to help him accelerate what he does here that's really good is he he keeps this tackle square um you see this tackle's feet are square his he's not his more hips, more hips are square. So if Aiden Hutchinson fakes and goes inside, this tackle could post. If he goes outside, he's going to kick. Um, Hutchinson does a good job of he's going outside, but he kind of sells which way I'm going to go, which way I'm going to go type beat. Um, so the tackle has to is forced to stay square instead of just set um, set back. Um, and gives himself gives this tackle more of a cushion. He has to stay square and be alert for the inside move. Ultimately, Aiden Hutchinson does a good job of getting outside. Um, Aiden Hutchinson here also just uh, puts his hands on this tackle and says, "I have longer arms than you, and I'm going to shed the block." Um, he's going to be able to bend up field and be able to. He's a little bit above the quarterback, but he's also parallel with his hips. He's going to come back down and come and finish with the sack. That's incredible motor to finish there. Um, really good job staying off the tackle. Um, he doesn't get caught up in the block. He uses a move to get off of it. Um, it's not that, that technically advanced or nuanced of a move per se, but it still gets the job done just as well, right? Um, and then he's going to be able to finish like that. That's amazing uh, effort, amazing motor from Aiden Hutchinson. Um, that's what you love to see as a pass rusher. We talk about Aiden Hutchinson being a great pass rusher, um, and not only because he's just fast and can use his strength and speed to get to the quarterback, but also because he's an extremely nuanced and has a very deep arsenal of pass rush moves. This is one of his favorites right here. Um, we're going to see him go outside and then fake inside and use a swim move to get by number um, this this right tackle here and put pressure on the quarterback, right? So he comes up field pretty quick. He's selling up field, right? So this tackle, you can see um, in... Um, in contrast to the Michigan State left tackle, um, this tackle has his feet a little bit more back. You're going to tell that he's his overall trajectory is going to be like this. If he was a little bit more square, he could move inside or uh, he could post or kick to go with Hutchinson, but he's moving outside like this to try and protect his quarterback. Hutchinson does a good job of recognizing that, selling outside, and then moving inside because um, he has this little lane to work with. Um, super quick with it. We're going to go back and see how quick he is with his, with his feet and getting in there. Um, and he's going to execute that inside uh, swim move. Um, and swim moves are risky. I don't love swim moves as a pass rusher um, because the tackle could easily just get you in, in your in your lat, and, and that that hurts. That really hurts. I know from experience. But um, Hutchinson does a good job of making it quick, getting past him, and getting inside to put pressure on Graham Mertz, the quarterback there. I'd like him to see him finish, but it seems like he got held a little bit, I guess. Yeah, um, you can't grab his waist. <laughs> but um, that would be a sack in any other in, in any other instance. Um, just a really good job from Aiden Hutchinson of being able to sell outside, swim inside, and get pressure on that quarterback. And I think number 60 had nightmares about Aiden Hutchinson after this game. Check this play out. It's not going to be a sack again, but it's still putting pressure on the quarterback and limiting his escape lane. Uh, you're going to see number 55, David Ajabo, who's also a really cool guy in this class. Uh, we'll get to him a little later. Um, he's going to be able to put pressure on the quarterback from this side. Aiden Hutchinson does a good job of containing the quarterback because um, he is that outside linebacker type. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, my God. Number 60. Please sink your hips, because you're not going to win any reps against number 97 right there if you don't sink your hips like that. Aiden Hutchinson just goes for a classic bull rush. Um, again, goes to show his arsenal of pass rushing moves. He can win with multiple ways. He doesn't have just one way to beat you. Um, and this is what he does. Great twitch and great get off off the line. Gives himself a lot of momentum going in to be able to attack number 60. And he's going to get his hands right where they need to be, right inside the chest plate to push him back. You can see Aiden Hutchinson is the force here, and he's the nail, the hammer here, and this guy is the nail. He's going to get driven back. Um, so that you see Ajabo coming here to get this quarterback. Graham Mertz could kind of pull out over here and, and run, but Aiden Hutchinson, with his with Aiden Hutchinson in his face as well, he's not going to be able to. He's going to have a limited escape route, so he's going to have to step up and take the sack from David Jabo. Um, just a great job from Aiden Hutchinson of being able to use the bull, 
Um, that's really good speed to bull because he starts out fast, gets gets strong and powerful, um, and pushes that tackle back in the quarterback's lap. That's amazing pass rushing from Aiden Hutchinson. This is a really good play from Aiden Hutchinson here because it showcases get off, explosion, and technique. Um, we're going to see Aiden Hutchinson explode off this ball, get off this ball super quick, time up the snap well um, to engage with this number 65, the left tackle here, and he's going to use good hand usage and a rip to get off. We saw this earlier against Michigan State. He does this pretty lo a lot, so he attacks it inside with his hand on the outside and then he's going to get that outside hand free come inside with that rip he's already free he's already won this rep you beat the hands you beat the man right that's exactly what aiden hutchinson's done he's neutralized number 65's hand placement uh by not only giving him a, a smaller surface to cover because he's attacking half a man here so he can only hit the seven or the shoulder pad but also getting his hands in first being quick about it um, and then extending with length and then coming underneath to make that rip that is all within the within less than a second of time um, he's able to do all that and then get off the man um, if it wasn't a screen this would very well be a sack because Aiden Hutchinson is able to get off that block so quick and get into the quarterback right there and then motor to come finish it he's pursuing he's not going to stand back and watch the play happen he's going to go up and make a play right there that's great pursuit now this is a play here uh, really showcases how Aiden Hutchinson is a run defender um, he's going to come up field, seal this edge off again. He's setting the edge. He's making sure nothing comes outside of him. He's keeping contained. But he's also jabbing, and this tight end has no business blocking number 97 right here. Um, he's going to be able to get up field, and he's going to be able to push him out of the way. Uh, doesn't necessarily get extension here, but then he uh, grabs him and push pulls him off to be able to find this running back. Um, he's not in great position to make the tackle, but just enough to be able to grab his lower his lower body, get his legs and his ankles, and trip him up for a nice little gain of zero, loss of one. That's exactly what you're looking for um, from a defensive end who's keeping contained. If you're able to get off that block, um, hit him with so much force that he pushes him back like that. This is gonna low. This this is gonna narrow this running back's running lane. He could come out here. That Aiden Hutchinson doing that and extending with length is negates that factor. So he's gonna have to go through this hole or this hole. There's a linebacker filling this hole, um, and then Hutchinson is able to come off the block and get a good tackle there and trip him up. So here we go with the Northwestern tape, another great exhibit of Aiden Hutchinson being able to stop the run really well, um, get upfield, set the edge, stub, and then move inside. Uh, you're dealing with a, with a really heavy set to this side. You have uh, a, t a tackle, a guard, a center, a uh, guard, tackle, tight end, tight end. So you've got, or this might be a wing, my bad. Either way, you've got a very heavy overload to this side. Um, you're likely in a nine tech right here. A lot of people would call this a nine tech. Um, so he's playing very wide, but he does a good job of coming up field, setting the edge against this tight end. Again, tight ends shouldn't really be blocking number 97. He can make a lot happen uh, if a tight end blocks him. But he's going to come up field, um, set the edge really well here, right? So he's going to engage. He's not afraid to engage. He's going to stub. Get extension with this tight end. This tight end is gonna is is not winning the rep. He's losing because the extension from uh, Hutchinson basically saying my arms are longer than you. I'm gonna extend and stick here. Um, number 96 does a good job of slowing the running back down, but he this running back breaks the tackle. So Aiden Hutchinson comes in underneath and is able to finish that tackle himself. Uh, this just showcases how H Hutchinson as a is a is as a run defender, excuse me, hard for me to say. Um, but he sets the edge really well here. That's one of my most underrated traits to Aiden Hutchinson. If you need the edge set, Aiden Hutchinson can do that. Um, and he does a very good job here of doing so, getting off the block and getting inside. All right, Aiden Hutchinson here. Uh, this pass rush rep was too good not to include. Um, another one of his inside swim moves, but this tackle, this right tackle here stands, stands no chance. Again, we're rushing out of a a seven ish to a nine ish tech here. Um, he's pretty wide and he gets upfield really fast, right? He's going to come upfield, sells outside. This tackle is already committed outside. Uh, his hips are basically all the way turned in parallel with the hash. Um, not great technique from this tackle, but Aiden Hutchinson knows that, recognizes that, and oh, I'm going to go inside. And this tackle does not know what happened. Look at his eyes. Oh, oh, what what happened, man? And Aiden Hutchinson is gone, right? Um, whether this is bad technique from the tackle, which it is, or just really fast athleticism and speed from Aiden Hutchinson coming off the edge with this move, um, it's going to work, and he's going to get inside and put pressure on that quarterback from the, uh, from the, the, the right side of the line. 
does a very good job if that quarterback holds the ball even a second longer that's a big sack or a strip sack even um just the ability of speed and being able to sell outside and then move inside that easily um not many pass rushers can do that and have that twitch and motor to do so um i really like this rap it was too good not to include all right, last play here against Rutgers. Uh, just another great example of Aiden Hutchinson being able to stop the run. This time, he's going to come inside to stop the run. Um, so we have gap responsibility-wise. My guess is 90 is going here. He's going A-gap. Um, he's going A-gap. This linebacker is probably going to flow over to B. Aiden Hutchinson comes all the way inside here, and this outside edge rusher, number four, or something like that, 41 maybe, is going to come C-gap. Um, Aiden Hutchinson does a good job being able to move laterally um, between gaps and get inside number 69. Um, here it engages and then has to disengage to get to 41. But Aiden Hutchinson comes off practically and blocked here. But he sticks right he recognizes it's going to be a run he comes in and he's going to come in and make that play stop the run that easily that's a gain of zero right there that aiden hutchinson just created um because of his quickness and ability to come inside read the play and make a stop good finish good tackle um good tackle behind the line of scrimmage and i, I really like the momentum that that and aggression that aiden hutchinson possessed in that play Right, so as a whole, we have a very deep edge class this year, um, and Aiden Hutchinson really tops that. And a lot of people like Kayvon Thibodeau. I can understand why he's a big traits guy, um, but he is not the guy, the complete guy that Aiden Hutchinson can be. And Aiden Hutchinson's the high ceiling guy. We have this debate every year in the draft: is the high upside guy better, or is the is the is the high ceiling guy better? Um, and Aiden Hutchinson has a high enough ceiling that I think that he's going to be more effective day one and continuing uh, on from day one uh, than Kayvon Thibodeau would be. Um, he reminds me a lot of the good pass rushers coming out. He reminds me a little bit of Chase Young with run blo uh, with run defense ability. He reminds me a little bit of a, the Boza kids. Um, his twitch and his athleticism uh, is just very good. He can he plays primarily as a stand up rusher, but I think he can go down to a to a hand of the dirt four three five tech. Um, the pass rush and the run defense and the speed and the strength really just uh, I'm I'm sold on Aiden Hutchinson as a prospect. Um, he's m probably my number two overall player um when it's all said and done well it's a lot can change but that's probably the consensus that i'm at right now um and i really like him as a whole if you liked him uh be sure to let me know in the comments be sh uh be sure to let me know if you saw anything else on his tape that you liked um we can we can all learn from each other and that's the point here right um so this is the first 2022 film session with a lot more to come um thank you guys all for watching i'll see you guys soon peace out